Well, this is one of my bee yards, and there's eight hives here. Um, each hive has its own number drawn on the front, so I know exactly which hive um, I'm uh, making notes on in my book. And um, so I recommend that you either name or number e every hive. If you've only got one or two hives, then you know, it's probably not absolutely necessary. But when you get a few more hives, it's a good idea to be able to, to um, refer back to a hive when you're looking at your notes. Today I'm going to have a look at this hive. Uh, last week I had two very weak nuke boxes here. One was queenless and the other one had a, she has got a quite a small queen. So I combined the two so I'm keen to see how they're going. Um, so we don't know what we're going to find in here. <coughs> First things to look for is what's happening at the entrance. You can notice there's not a lot of activity on this one, so suggests that it is a, probably a weak hive. Um, but looks like it's still going, hasn't died off. I'm just going to put the gloves on because I don't know what temperament these bees have. You can see the, um, the newspaper, which I separated the two boxes last week bees would have eaten through that and joined up gives them time to uh, to get used to each other so uh, we'll see how it goes first I'm just going to give a little bit of smoke I don't expect this hive to be too aggressive it's quite weak I generally don't use a lot of smoke unless it's really necessary So I gave them some sugar last week. This is my preferred method of feeding, is put a bit of sugar on the top of the, um, the inner cover. And they seem to be, seem to have been taking a bit of it. Just remove the inner cover. Put it over here. Just a bit of light smoke, I'm not going to overdo it. Generally re remove one of the outer frames. As you can see, this one is empty, which uh, means they're not bringing any honey in. Probably because they just haven't got enough field bees. That's why we're feeding them. Same again. But you can see some of the, there's some honey in the middle there, so that's a good sign. So we'll just put that one there, make a bit of room so we can get at each frame. So here's some brood and larvae. What I'm looking for is eggs. If I can see eggs then I know that there's a queen in there, or at least she was there a day or two ago. And I can see some eggs which is good. So I don't necessarily need to see the queen. If I do, that's great, I like to see the queen. But if I see eggs, then that's, um, that's enough. Oh, there she is, just down the bottom there. I don't know if you saw her, but she's just moved on to the other side here. I'll try and point her out. She's just, just there. And that actually looks like a different queen but I can't be sure. She's not a, that's not a big queen, but um, I thought she was smaller. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe the other one of the nukes wasn't queenless and they've, they've had a little fight and the, the bigger one has taken over. But that's a good sign that um, she's got a queen and there's eggs and this, this hive is now queen right. Whereas last week I had two, two hives that weren't really doing very well. So now I've got one that looks like it's gonna bounce back. Some more brood and honey is being stored, which is good. The pattern's not brilliant, probably because it's been upset from um, my uh, intervention last week. Normally, you would want to see it all 
covered up. There's a lot of, it's quite patchy. You want to see it sort of all, all over here and solid brood, not, not like this. But I'm not too concerned at this stage. That looks good. It's not in the best condition, but it's not it's not um, in decline. And that's that's the top box brood. So just gently move these frames back. Try not to crush any bees. Put everything back. It's nice and gentle. No sudden bumps or jolts, which upsets them. And while we're at it, we might as well have a look in the bottom brood box. So you put the other box on the lid. See, so they've broken through the, the paper. We don't need that anymore. So we'll just take one of these out on the edge. Start having a look through. No surprises there, it's all depleted. But they are starting to build up some honey, if you can see that. Another one. This is, this brood looks actually looks better. This is a very old frame, so it's looking a bit um, darker. But um, the brood's covering right across the, the frame. Still not textbook case, but um, still looks pretty good. If I saw another queen in here, then I'd be I'd be um, a little bit concerned about what's going on. But I don't think there is going to be another queen. Can't see any eggs down the bottom here yet. I think the queen's been working up top. No brood here, it's all hatched out. And that little little cell there looks like the start of a queen cell, but um, I don't think they're in any mood to swarm. They, uh, they're far too weak. Bees just generally build queen cells, build them up, take them down. All right, everything's looking pretty good in here. It's not a strong hive, but I think it's probably going to get there. We'll get to the critical mass and then start producing honey. <clears throat> Let's put everything back. Try not to squash any bees. Nice and gentle. And that's it. We won't look at that one for another few weeks because I think everything's okay and I don't really want to disturb them anymore. So when you're keeping your notes, you can print these things out from the internet, um, inspection sheets, which you can just tick things off. Um, if you want to keep detailed notes, I generally keep very brief notes. My last inspection, I pretty much, if I don't mention it, and then it's okay. Um, so I meant, so I marked a few queens last time. I, this hive I should be watching. This hive is strong, should be watching because it uh, might swarm. But um, you can make notes. Um, you want to look at the brood pattern, if there's any queen cells, the honey stores, how well behaved they are, if there's any diseases, and anything you did. Very important to write down what you've done or what you need to do next time so that you know exactly what needs to be done on your next inspection. Um, 
yeah so good idea to keep a notebook with all your notes so um, I can go back yeah here's my nuke very weak fed and eventually I had to uh, join them up so I can go back and see see the history of this hive but um, anyway it's going well now